Welcome to Granite City Talent Show. This is an online showcase of the talent that the northeast of Scotland has to offer. We've got a lot of amazing performances lined up from some very brave and talented individuals. I'm shook at that performance. Some are polished and some are not quite so polished. Thanks for tuning in and let's get right into it and see who has that granite talent. Who do you think will make it? Let's welcome our judges. Introducing Farrah, Edward, M, and Simon. The judges will be voting on which contestants should continue to the next round. So keep an eye on the colour of their box. Red means no, green means go, and blue means undecided. The judges are also using a scoring system to give points to each contestant. We will see the points in the leaderboard shown at the end of each episode. The contestants with the most points will move on to the next stage. Good evening folks. And welcome to the final. This is stage five. Episode eight. Of the Grand, Grand Talent Show. Show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pull our hands together uh, for the voice. The host, James. James. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> guys, thank you so much. It's really nice to be announced into the show for once. Cheers, everybody. Wow, here we are. Let's give a round of applause for all of the contestants that have <laughs> performed in the talent show so far. Wow, the final episode. Quite a journey. How do you feel? We feel great. We feel great. I've had a blast. It's been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. What talent? <laughs> it's been a yeah, it's been a journey, but it's been a good one. I agree, totally agree. Well, I have to admit that I've loved every minute of this journey and every performance. And my favourite performances have actually been from you guys, the judges. Well, I have to admit, perhaps being able to lick your elbow. <laughs> Isn't quite a talent, M. <laughs> or uh, a freak show. <laughs> yeah. So we left the semi final with the contestants at a combined score of Holly Thomas with 132, Katie Nickel with 483, Raya Laird with 179, Iona Fraser Queen with 393 and Graham Waterhouse with 103. We've given them four extra days of campaigning since Monday. The top three will win a prize donated by our sponsors. Virtual Reality are offering first place prize of £100. We at Virtual Reality are making VR a social experience. Find our local events or organize one for your friends and family. We are a mobile unit focusing on the entertainment and relaxation aspects of virtual technology. Ideal for private or corporate parties, to fundraisers and team building. We tailor the events to the client's request. Our next sponsor, Taught at Home, is offering second prize at £50. Learning Nat 5 Maths at home can be quite the challenge these days, especially in difficult times, or if your teacher it makes no sense. That's why I set up TaughtAtHome.com, a very innovative website using interactive videos, quizzes, games, and has access to full worksheets and solutions. Smash your exams by going to TaughtAtHome.com. Our third sponsor, V Fitness and Nutrition, are offering our third place prize at £25. Well, we started off with an artist, a dancer, an accordionist, a few guitarists, but only the multi-talented dynamic singers and vocalists made it to the semi-final. Why do you think that is, Simon? I mean, that's a really great question, James. Why? Um, but I think it's, at the end of the day, 
Everybody loves a singer. You can just sit back, relax, or get energized. Doesn't matter who the singer is. You can't see the show. No, we're having issues. Who do you miss the most out of the folk that have left him? Uh, so James, that's actually a really good question. Um, I can't remember the name, but it's the gentleman that um, made the um, the plant pot out of the drum of the LSC. washing machine. I thought that was genius. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why is that then? I just love the creativity. It's completely different to any of the performances we've seen, and I just love the ingenuity. I just thought it was just I very totally creative. agree. Right up. Excellent. <laughs> Edward, who do you think will take it home tonight? Hmm, that's a that's a big one, but you know, you never know, you never know what they can bring on, so let's just see how it goes. Farah, what about you? I like a certain girl with a guitar, but I'm not telling you which one. <laughs> oh well, yeah. <laughs> now I do have some questions about the scoring system that you have got going, but before that, let's look at the top five contestants over the past few weeks. My legs are bopping. That's a good sign. <laughs> Great guitar skills. What a She's dancing with another man. She has got a unique voice though. The voice of a potential star. Nickel. Um, I've got another original song for you. Reminds me of a young girl in Parton. I'm just so impressed. Like, when I say that we've got talent though. So before we look at the final leaderboard and find out who is our top three, come on, one of you explain the scoring system to me please. The rose, the thorn and the bud. Alright, great. So, in terms of the rose scoring, 
um, you know, you have a score from 1 to 12, 1 being the lowest, 12 being the highest. And depending on the individual artist, you as a judge then determine what score you need to apply. So in various scenarios, if the um, artist is great, fabulous, then you give them a high score. But if they're not, then you're not going to give them a high score, are you? Okay. Um, and then I'll, I'll take on what yep. the thorn element in the score. Mm -hmm. So you can get your score, your overall score for that performance, but maybe there was something that just wasn't quite right, it didn't hit the mark, and they're going to give a score between one and five for, for that thorn and how bad that thorn was. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that they really needed to change um, and it just didn't work, then you might give them a five. But I can honestly say that one person I saw during this whole competition we got a thorn that was a five. Okay. So um, I'll just take on the bud aspect. So the bud is basically um, to what extent um, your performance needed improving. Uh, five being it needed uh, large amounts of improvement and one just being improving. And yeah, I, I would say Simon, I don't think I ever gained any more higher than a two. Oh, well, that explains the six and seven points some people were getting then. So are those quite decent scores at the end of the day? Yes, they are. Uh, if you put it in a scale of one to ten, they would be like six out of ten. And how did okay. these boxes work with the colours? Yeah, um, anything between six and ten is green, uh, five to one is blue, which is considered undecided, and zero or below is red. Ah, that explains it then. It makes a lot more sense to me now. So if you viewers at home have enjoyed the show, then please be sure to join the Granite City Talent Show group. The more support we receive, the higher the chance we have of doing this again. To go live, guys. I'm ready. Okay. So if you blank your cameras out. Okay, so do you tell me? Enough small talk. Let's see who made it to fourth and fifth place. Are you guys ready for this? Right. In fifth place, with 103 points, it's Graham Waterhouse. And in fourth place, with 133 points, it's Holly Thomas. I loved each of your performances. I think I'm going to see you in the future. I hope to see you again. Good luck. All right, guys. So let's make the call to the top three. Are you ready? Okay. So we're about to come in, guys. I'll. Uh, I'll count you in and then you unblock your, your webcam. Okay, we're in guys, if you bring your cameras back on. In five, four, three. Hey there, how you doing everybody? Hi. <laughs> so we have Katie Nicol. How are you doing Katie? Good, thank you, yeah. Oh, I absolutely loved your performance, especially the one in the garden where you were doing it out in nature. Your voice is so powerful, just, you must be uh, treating all the wildlife to your sound. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, do you write your songs yourself, yeah? I do, yeah, all by myself. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. How long have you been playing the guitar for? Um, probably for about five years. I started learning when I was 11. Five years, wow, you've got great rhythm. You've come along in five years. And we also, of course, we've got Iona Fraser Queen. Hello, Iona. Hi. Oh, the superstar. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Are you excited to be here? Yeah. Okay, now your one of your idols, one of your inspirations, is of course Dolly Parton. 
Yeah. Yeah, and I absolutely loved your version of her song. And who's this with you? Uh, this is my mum and my cousin. It's your mum and your cousin. Hi, everybody. How are you doing, mum and cousin? Hello. Okay, thank you. Mom, you must be so proud. So, so super proud, yes. It's been lovely to watch your confidence grow through the competition. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, enough small talk, enough small talk. I think we all know what we're here for. Let's not keep you waiting any longer. The scores are in. Okay, here we go. In third place, with 382 points, She's not here. It's Raya Lynn. Woo! Raya, accept this award, but Raya, you've done an amazing job. An amazing job. Okay, so Raya, well done. You have won twenty-five pounds from V Fitness. Congratulations. So that means we've got first and second. Oh, it's tight. Oh, it's really tight. Here we go. In second place. With. 631 points. It's the girl from Kiri Muir, Katie Nichol. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, oh, yes. Well done, Katie. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. I'm actually over the move for you. Thank so, you. Katie, yeah. you have won fifty pounds from Tart at Home. How do you feel? Cool, amazing. Yeah, that's totally um, so cool. I've been um, having a good time. Um, well, being involved and uh, hearing the feedback and things, and I'm really happy for Iona. She deserved it. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. And so that means we have a winner in first place with a whopping 677 points. Yes. It's the girl from Berlin with the Iona Fraser Queen. Well done. Well done. You got it. <laughs> All right, Iona, how do you feel? I'm shocked. You're shocked. Well, you shouldn't be. You absolutely, utterly deserve this. You absolutely deserve this. You've won £100 from virtual reality. What are you going to do with that money? Um, I'm donating it to Panda Panda's charity and Charlie's house. Charlie's house and... And Panda's Pandas UK. Pandas, wow. So you're donating all your money to charity. That is absolutely commendable. I'm really impressed. Well done, Iona. And again, I think all the contestants, Katie, Raya, and of course, Iona, top three, you've got to give yourself a pat on the back there. I think you've both done it. I, couldn't, I honestly couldn't have picked anybody apart. You were that good. So well done. And please keep doing what you're doing. And... Record, get yourself out there. You're going to go far. All right, guys. Well, thank you all for your performances. It's been really fun to watch and to facilitate. I wish you all the best and goodbye. Bye. 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 Guys, that's it. Judges, do you have anything you want to say? Oh. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all on behalf of the Granite City Talent Show team for watching. If you want to apply to the show as a contestant, sponsor or judge, the sign up form is on our website www.granitecitytalent.virtualreality.co.uk Thank you also to the Granite City Talent Show team for putting this show together. Great work! It's been absolutely awesome. If you've enjoyed watching and want to see more local shows, smash that like button and grab yourself a hoodie. Well, that's it from me, and that's it from them. Goodbye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.